You're looking behind you while they're chasing after you with just bloodlust in their eyes. You're like, oh man, those titties still look good. I'm gonna miss those tits. <laughs> Son of I'm a f- get out of here. <laughs> when Girl X expresses her ambivalence, I want to have sex with you, she says, but I don't know if I want to show the world. He is receptive. You don't want to be sloot shamed, he says. She carries on, like she says, adopting a blokey voice. I saw you do him. Why don't you do me? This is not an entirely paranoid thought. One of the accused in the 2018 rugby rapé trial in Northern Ireland on entering the room after two other men performed uh, sex acts on the plaintiff asked her to do it with him. And when she said no, he allegedly replied, you, you did the others. Why can't you do me? A woman's presumed desire, even just once, for one man makes her vulnerable. Her desire disqualifies her from protection. Once a woman is thought to have said yes to something, she can say no to nothing. Now, before we get to the absolute bullshit, let's just uh, point this out right now, because we brought this up right here. Uh, There was a ban on the trial that was lifted specifically because the pair was cleared of all charges. Yep. And several charges were actually dropped before the trial took place because of DNA evidence exonerating the accused. And they went ahead with it anyway. Shocker. Yep. And you know what? I mean, to keep in the future, we need to repair our legal system. So when when prosecutors do this shit to people and they and the, the person's found innocent, that prosecutor's career should be over on the spot. I was just going to say good luck. I know. know. (laughs) (laughs) What really cracks me up about this particular paragraph is that, you know, when she gets to, you know, like a woman's desire makes her vulnerable. Like, that's not true of everyone? Yeah, I know. I I mean, especially now in the age of simps on Twitch, these dudes make their desire known. It immediately turns these women off. Yeah, I know. Like, vulnerability when it comes to expressing your desire to get with somebody is implied. Listen, right from go. When I was younger, I went out with a lot of real hot women who l- led me around by my penis. <laughs> yeah. Get over here. I was an idiot. I was dick. I was a dick thinking idiot. Hey, we all were. We've all had our moments. Yeah, you, you can't beat yourself up for being twenty four. I mean, it, nah. Yeah, I know. I know. But still. Yeah. Those titties were so nice. <laughs> Uh, mouth watering. <laughs> mouth watering. Yeah. What, 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 they, what size are we talking? Were they hangers? Did they no. did they spring out of the bra? They give were us, the give springers us some that stood out straight. Uh, straight. And they belonged to Perky. blondes, Mexicans, and redheads. Did they? And stay? you wonder why you had trouble with women? Yeah, I know. Did they stay equally perky when they were chasing after you with the baseball bat full of gutter nails? The Mexicans did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're looking behind you while they're chasing after you with just bloodlust in their eyes. You're like, oh man, those titties still look good. <laughs> I'm going to miss those tits. <laughs> Son of I'm a bitch. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> One last look before I leap to freedom. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was definitely a weird day. <laughs> You could I, you could see it in his eyes. This is wonderful being sitting in on this. This is great. This is like, <laughs> hey, a day in the life of Pop. Yeah. Mexican titties. That was, oh, Miske- that was a Miskel day. And Miskel should be called chased by a Mexican with a bat full of nails. Ah, the wow. new name for Miskel. Yeah, I'm glad I dated Asian girls that were in the engineering department back in college. They were a little more safe. <laughs> <laughs> they could build something that could fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. If they had that maliciousness in them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like just send a robot to your room in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, you just hear the servos going in your sleep. You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Catch it just before it cuts your nuts off. <laughs> hey, the Russians are doing it. <laughs> They're building whole brigades of, of combat droids. Literal Russian bots? Oh no, what will the Democrats do now? Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff. <laughs> <laughs>